Assalamu alaikum, my dear student of class 4. Welcome to all of you in our virtual classroom, arranged by Samsula Khan School and College English version. Well, I'm your science teacher, Muhammad Ibtia Jahamed. Uh, today, in this class, I'm going to talk about the chapter 3 named Soil. So, before starting this chapter, I would like to tell you that uh, you have to bring your textbook and another color pen to mark some important lines. Well, I hope you all are ready to do this class. So let's go and try to open your textbook chapter 3. The name of this chapter is known as the soil. First, the importance of soil. Soil is the loose covering our surface. Plants and animals use soil as their habitat. Plants grow in soil. Animals eat plants to get energy. People use soil in their life in different ways. Well, in this para, it says that the definition of soil. You know, we live in a planet named Earth and the topmost part of Earth is known as the soil. Soil is quite important for us, for plants as well as the animals because we use them as our habitat. We know that plants grow normally in the soil and as a human being or all the animals we are dependent on plants to get energy. And as a human being we use the soil in different ways in our life and we will learn about them well you can see that in this page i have marked some lines with the red color line so make a pause of this video and try to mark those important lines in your textbook because from this year we have decided to give you some important lines for your matching as well as fill in the blanks I hope you have done this now we have an activity if you look in this activity it says that the use of soil that means where do you use the soil in the picture you can see the two farmers are trying to cultivate some crops in the land this is how we can say that we can we are using the soil in the next picture two omens are trying to collect some vegetables well we know vegetables grow in the soil in the right part there is a picture shows that some people are trying to make some bricks we know we can make those bricks by the help of soil this all were the uses of soil now we will learn about details of this point in the next page in the next page it says there are different uses of soil people use soil for different purpose and the first purpose is agriculture people use soil for growing plants soil provides necessary water and nutrients for plants people grow vegetables and crops for food they need to live well in this para there is another picture where we can see that that growing crops in soil that means without soil we can not think about our agricultural part we know plants and uh, the trees grow into the soil and is quite important for them because they provides the water and nutrients in the next is building people make houses and buildings on soil soil can be used for making building materials such as bricks or concrete well if you look around you you can see a lot of buildings and structures around you is made well this structure is situated just on the top of the soil and if you look them that these buildings are made with the bricks and concrete and we know that bricks and concrete is made by the soil as well that's why the building department is fully dependent on soil and the next is arts and crafts soil 
is used for making pottery that can create kitchen goods such as pots, vases, bowls, etc. People also use soil in making artwork for interior decoration and for exhibition. If you look into the picture, you can see that the potter is trying to make some pots. Well, in the rural village, once upon a time, the people use those kitchen goods by the help of soil. That means th their pots and vases and bowls were made by the soil. But nowadays we use glass and ceramics. And also we can say that the ceramic is another uh, part of uh, another uh, classification of soil because ceramic is, is a part of soil as well. That's why we're still using the soil as our kitchen goods. And another part that we have seen that people try to make variety of artwork or interior decorator that means showpiece by the help of soil so all are the uses of soil we have seen here there is another use of soil which is known as the landfills a lot of garbage that people throw away goes to a landfill landfills are areas where garbage is placed in in the land most of the trash that we throw away ends up in a landfill. Soil is used to bury them. That means in our home you have seen that the city corporation people comes and take the garbage from us. And after they take this garbage into a certain place and, try, and they try to throw them and fill that area day by day. But after some days we need to bury those La, uh, garbage because that creates a lot of uh, uh, bad smell that's why we bury them with the help of land this is why it's known as a landfills in the next we will learn the growth of soil fertility that means we learn that plants need air water and sunlight to grow what else do they need to grow well that means we have learned earlier that air, water and sunlight is necessary for the plant's growth. Anything else is necessary for them? Yes. To grow the plants well, we need something else which is known as fertilizer. In this activity, there are two pictures and a picture one, the pot one, we can see that uh, boys and girls are trying to give water to a uh, pot of trees where they are also putting some fertilizer and they uh, you can see the sun rays is coming that means that plant gets the water gets the sun rays and also here including the fertilizer and the pot too you can see that that plants also get the sunlight the water and the air but it doesn't get the fertilizer after some days if you look at them you will see that the pot once plant will grow well with a healthy uh, physical active uh, physical feature but the pot too is not grow well because it doesn't have the fertilizer so we will learn more about the fertilizer in our next page we found that plants grow well in soil that contains fertilizer Fertilizers include the elements that are most important in plants' nutrients. Plants need nutrients to grow and thrive. The soil that contains more nutrients necessary for plants is more fertile. Soil fertility is the capacity of soil to grow crops. The following are some good ideas on how to make soil fertile. Well, in this paragraph, we have seen that uh, we have seen that. Normally plants grow well in a fertile land. That means if we put some fertilizer in a land, we will get better plants because this fertilizer helps to provide some kind of nutrients which is necessary for the plants for their betterment of the growth. And we have seen the soil fertility mainly is the capacity of soil to grow crops. That means if a land can make more crops that means the land is known as fertile land if the land cannot make uh, more crops that means the land is not fertile well we will see some ideas about the 
using fertilizer number one is using fertilizer farmers apply fertilizers in soil to produce crops the fertilizer can help soil restore lost nutrients fertilizer can be divided into two groups such as organic fertilizer and inor inorganic fertilizer cow dung and compost are organic fertilizer and urea and tsp are inorganic fertilizer well here you can see that the farmers normally use the fertilizer for the, to produce the crops much more better than the previous and why we use them because it can uh, provide to restore the lost nutrients of the soil this is why the farmer use the fertilizer but the fertilizer is divided into two groups one is known as the organic fertilizer that means which comes naturally and another uh, uh, fertilizer is known as the inorganic fertilizer the which is comes in the factory that means we manufacture them through the uh, by using some kind of chemicals well uh, you have seen that the cow dung and compost are the organic fertilizer because it comes from nature the cow dung and the compost is made by the natural things and TSP and urea is made by the chemical that's why we can divide them into two parts and option two is rotating crops if the same crop is cultivated year after year in the same field crop uses of some of nutrients in the soil crop rotation helps maintain soil fertility some crops such as beans help put nutrients back in the soil that means we can see that if we produce different kind of uh, vegetables or crops in a uh, single land then we will get a better benefit because the rotation of the uh, crops will provide more nutrients if we uh, rather than if we grow the crops the same crops again and again that means if you see the picture after uh, the growing the the carrots then the beans then the cabbage we may start with the next time with the cabbage then the uh, carrot then the bean then it will make the land more fertile the next is soil pollution soil pollution happens when people introduce harmful materials directly or indirectly in the soil you can see that the soil pollution happens due to the human activity and we are totally engaged with this kind of activity either directly or indirectly in this picture you can see that a lot of garbage is throwing into the land that's why the soil is going to be going polluted a lot of chemical comes out from the factory that's why the soil is polluted we will learn more about the soil pollution in the next page causes of soil pollution soil is polluted by different human activities as for example littering garbage such as chips package and domestic waste on the land number two the use of pesticides or herbicides for agricultural activities and number three is leakage of oil or harmful materials from the factories to the land that means these all three options are made by the human being first of all we use such a kind of garbage which is not disposable that means like the chips package or plastic type of where this kind of wastage can pollute the land easily next whenever we uh, grow our crops we try to use some kind of pesticides or herbicides to destroy all the insects but this kind of chemical or this kind of chemical can damage the quality of the land and another option is says that the leakage of oil or variety of chemical comes out from the factory can damage our uh, so can create the uh, pollution of our soil next is effects of soil pollution the soil pollution harms living things and destroys their habitats and the nature soil pollution reduces soil productivity crop grown in polluted soil may have harmful things soil pollution causes disease in both humans and many other animals that means if the soil become polluted what kind of effect may uh, uh, what kind of effect can create in our life we have seen that it can destroy uh, the habitat of the nature like 
the um, the insects or the other animals will be affected the soil productivity productivity can be reduced and sometimes it can carry a lot of disease on the both humans or the animals as well in the picture on the right side you can see that the pesticide is spraying in paddy field and it can uh, it, it, it can destroy the uh, so uh, destroy the quality of the soil the next para says how to prevent soil pollution here are the good practice that we can do to prevent soil pollution number one is take out the garbage in specific places number two is reduce reuse and recycle something and number three is use organic fertilizers such as compost in the crop field here we have learned that how to prevent the soil pollution that means we are doing the soil we are polluting the soil somehow but we can prevent them by taking some kind of steps like we can uh, take those garbage in a certain place we can reduce we can reuse or we can recycle something that is uh, non-disposable and number three is if we use the organic fertilizer more and more rather than the inorganic fertilizer then our crop will or the soil can be uh, better number three uh, last para is conservation of soil soil con conservation is a protection of soil from erosion or the maintenance of soil fertility soil erosion occurs when topsoil is removed by the wind or water it results in the loss of fertile soil and less ability of holding the water. Plants play an important role in preventing soil erosion by their roots. We can prevent soil by ero erosion by planting trees and growing grass on land. That means another uh, problem happens whenever the wind and water flows very high in a very high way that can create the soil erosion. If the soil, the top part of the soil can uh, sweat away we will lose the fertility of the land that's why we need to conserve the soil from this soil erosion how can we do this we can use the trees if we uh, plant uh, if we uh, plant a lot of trees on the land it can hold all the uh, soil and it can prevent the soil erosion by their uh, by their roots and also if you grow a lot of grass on land it can also can hold all the uh, soft soil which is on the top part and it can help us from the soil erosion well this were all the discussion of, about this chapter let me tell you what we have learned from this chapter first of all we have learned the definition of the soil we have seen the first line define us the definition of the soil and the second we have seen that the importance of soil that means why soil is important in our life we have seen that soil is quite important for our life for our agricultural sector for our building materials uh, for our arts and crafts for our landfills we use soil in our life then we have learned <coughs> the necessity of soils fertility why soils fertility is necessary for us we know that so, uh, to grow a better crops we need a fertile land that's why we use the fertilizer and we have to improve the fertility of our land through a various way we have learned that the ways were by using fertilizer and then the rotating crops in number six we have learned the causes of soil pollution that means why the soil is getting polluted day by day we have learned that the soil is polluting due to human activities and most of them are made by the human activities by littering garbage by using pesticides or herbicide by leaking of uh, well uh, harmful materials from the factories and then we have learned the effects of soil pollution that means when the soil is polluting what kind of effect happens in our life we have seen that the productivity the pro, uh, the productivity of soil getting down day by day it can create a lot of disease all for all human beings or animals and also it can it creates the disaster in our environment and number eight we have learned prevention of soil pollution that means how we can prevent the soil pollution if we take out 
some kind of garbage in a specific place or if we reduce reuse or recycle some uh, items which are not disposable if we use more of organic fertilizer rather than the artificial uh, inorganic fertilizer our uh, soil can be uh, the soil pollution can be prevented and the last we have learned the conservation of soil that means day by day the soil top part of the soil is decaying due to wind and water but they all are the fertile part that's why for the betterment of our uh, plants growth or the agriculture we must conserve the soil by the help of trees if we plant a lot of trees on the land it will prevent the soil erosion by their so roots as well as if we put some uh, grass on the land it will help us to uh, ero uh, to prevent the soil from this erosion well my dear students that was all for today's discussion i hope you, you have understood the whole chapter but if you have any problem i would like to request you to watch this video for uh, several times but after that if you have any kind of problem you are feel free to contact with me well that's all for today but remember one thing you have to stay at home and stay safe and my contact number is here given so you can contact with me as follows thank you very much